When Cristiano Ronaldo was paraded before his new club, Real Madrid, it was not just the 94 million euro transfer fee that made people gasp. There was 13 million euro per season and a 1 billion euro buyout clause. Real would have to sell an awful lot of shirts to make a dent in that kind of investment. Pele has thoughts on this. Uh, I don't think so you can buy a uh, championship. You can buy a good players, you can buy a good coach, but uh, you must put the team together. I have a uh, experience in my life. I saw a team who has a beautiful star, you know, 11 star. He doesn't want the World Cup, you know. I think to have a team as a play together, I think is a very important. It was not until 1970, toward the end of Palais' playing career, that the system of red and yellow cards was introduced. He was one player that would definitely have benefited from the system. The football now is the more closed, is the more tight, but the other side, the forward today, has the more protection because you have the yellow card, you have the red card, the TV show every play, then the, the forward, you know, they have more protection. In my time, you know, you have a, you know, kick from behind, the guy pulled you off short, they pull you off, they didn't get the head cut, they didn't get the yellow cut. If I was playing now, I will score 2,000 goals to, to 1,000. <laughs> Though Brazil might be the breeding ground for the world's best players, England's Premier League generates the most money and arguably has the highest standard of competition, probably because it buys everybody else's good players. But this can have serious drawbacks. But the one point is very, very clear. England and Germany, long time you don't build up young players. Germany, I spoke with Beckenbauer, we always would talk about this. Germany, at least 15 years, doesn't have one young good player from Germany. And England also, they have a problem to build up, you know, English players. I think this means a lot. Many times, Pelé has been asked if he would take up a coaching position, and he always says he is not interested. He wants to continue with skills clinics for youth, his youth side at Santos, and his humanitarian work. He's keen to encourage young people. I advise the, 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 the children, the youngsters, you know, about uh, how important it is to be in good shape, to take care about his uh, soul, his mind, his body, you know, it's not only to be a star. And uh, I think we have a, uh, a message for the, the future of the, 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 the football, because uh, it was uh, 35 years, you know, career. You know, it was not uh, one or two years career. And to be like that, you must to be in shape. When a talented new player arrives on the scene, particularly if he's Brazilian, people will often tag him as the new Pelé. For a young man at the beginning of his career, this is an unrealistic expectation. Avalia as pessoas pelo que fez. Então ninguém foi campeão do mundo com 17 anos, só o Pelé. Ninguém foi tricampeão do mundo com a seleção, com a sua seleção, só o Pelé. Ninguém fez mais de 1.283 gols, só o Pelé. Então, o próximo que aparecer vai ter que bater todos esse recorde, vai ter que ganhar isso aí. Aí pode ser que apareça o novo Pelé, mas então, então é só Deus que pode explicar. It is difficult to compare players across generations. Perhaps Pelé was just playing modern football 30 years before anybody else.